This is Josh Baiser from GameWisdom.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for games you'd like me to look at here on the channel, please let me know. Hello and welcome to some more Neo here on the channel. After the pretty big popularity of my guide videos, I want to try and do something a little special. And basically try out, a, a, I guess, a pilot program for a series on basically how to beat the various bosses or challenges of the game. So this is going to be our way of testing things out, and if there is enough interest in it, I'll be more than happy to make more. But for this video, I wanted to focus on the Umi Bozo fight. This, is, this will be kind of like my redemption play, because when I upload my play of it, it took me like 45 minutes the first time to beat the fight. And since then, I've gotten a lot better at the battle, and know a few tricks to deal with it as well. Now, to make things extra challenging, I am playing this under the New Game Plus Way of the Strong, and this is the Twilight Mission variant. So I really like to punish myself with this one. Now, I will be cutting this video in and out as we go forward, but the first thing about this fight that you have to understand is the importance of lighting the three bonfires. Each one... First, let me just deal with this guy. There we go. Each one will basically deal with one of his little friends that pops up during the battle. And they will also give you the chance to fire and chain your weapon if it already if it isn't already. So this first one is fairly easy. Now of course because this is on Twilight, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for me. And I'm hoping not to fall to my doom here if I can help it. Now also one other thing to keep in mind, I am using my Divine gear that's pretty much almost at peak badassery. So my attacks will be a lot, probably be a lot more different than yours. There's Bonfire 1. We got two more. And one thing I do like about this level is the fact that it is set up that you can go after the second or go after the boss very quickly into it. But you can make it easier on yourself by spending time going through the bonfires. But um, let's, you'll join me in a few minutes, or in a few seconds, while I get to the second bonfire. Alright, and we're back. Now, the second bonfire can actually be reached from above, and I actually got lost getting to it the first time, but it can actually be found very quickly, thanks to our friend here. And one of the easiest ways to deal with these fake walls is simply by using the disappointed emote. Apparently, they must have patched that out. Well, let's try it again, and hopefully, we can get through it. There we go. Thank you, buddy. That was close. But, it's very important to come this way, as it's the quickest route to the second bonfire to light. First, let's deal with big guy over here. There we go. And our friend. Come on. Another thing that is very useful for the Umibuzu fight is going to be to have fire. Now, my weapon here, my Kusurugama, is fire and chain already, so I am safe in that regard. But if you have fire talismans, see, where are my talismans? I should have them. Lightning amulet, earth amulet, oh, I'm sorry. You have either the fire amulet, which hopefully I actually have a few saved, or have the fire talismans from the, um, on the magic line. They will both be worth it to use against this boss. Here is the fire amulet. But again, I already have, I'm already fire enchant, so I should be good. The important point is simply being able to catch the boss with the debuff, or the damage over time. But, I will cut things here, and you'll be joining me at the third and final bonfire. Alright, so I'm at the third bonfire, the third light we have to start up here. And again, you can start the, uh, the Omibuzo fight whenever you want, but getting all three will make life a lot easier for you. Hopefully I can see my way back over here without falling. There's a shrine across the water here, which you can't really, you can barely make it out right there. 
That's going to be our checkpoint for the fight, in case I do die. And there is the very good likely that I will. Now to get back over, all we need to do is drop down right here. Gotcha. And then just run straight across to the fight. So, you'll be joining me there in a second. Alright, here we are. Umi Buzu is one of those fights that's either going to be very hard or very easy, depending upon how you prepare for it. Now, with the three bonfires lit, I don't have to worry about them spawning those minions. If I want to use the fire enchant, I can go over and activate them, but the downside is that it will remove the fire, and thereby more of those guys will spawn. There we go, that's what we want. With the DOT working for us, things shouldn't be too bad. Oh no! Ooh, wait, that was close. Once you get the hang for this fight, it is going to be pretty easy. And again, if I didn't have my fire enchant, I would be using the talismans right now. Now, the most dangerous attack that he has of course, you can just stay in the middle there, avoid that. Is his death. And that's the kind of the build up for. It. When he's using it, he's at his most vulnerable as well. There we go. And he should actually be switching to his next form. At this point, he will summon three more of those guys, which are going to promptly get killed. There we go. Gotta be careful of that. When he does that in gold ability, that's your cue to back up or he will grab you. Now, I don't know if it's just on New Game Plus or Twilight, but at this point, he usually summons another set of those guys right around the 25% health mark. Let's back it up. Again, get a few hits, and then back up before he tries and grabs you. It is possible... Oh, there we go. You try to do it again. It is possible to light him back on fire. But it's just hard to get those hits in safely. Because you don't want him to smother you. And that attack is the big one to avoid. That has killed me numerous times. I could also switch in my quick stance or my low stance to try and pepper him with fire, but we should be good there. And there you go, that is Umi Bozo pretty quickly. Again, I am using Divine Gear and this is New Game Plus, but the rules still apply. So I could come over here and light my weapon, but again, while my weapon will stay enchanted for a long time, I lose that fire. I've just found it easier to either have my weapon be fire enchanted, or use those fire amulets or fire talismans to do the job. But that's going to do this for this video, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see more of these kinds of boss crush videos here on the channel, please let me know. If not, I may do them, you know, come and go as I please, but if there is a huge interest, I'll try to get them out quickly for you. And if you have a specific boss you want me to tackle next, be sure to let me know. But otherwise, that's how you crush Umibozu in Yo, and I will catch you all next time. Take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and of course share with your friends, it always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GWBicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.